So, St. Ignatius, um, hopefully you guys can tell me, what are you guys going to get on Ash Wednesday? Okay, she was quick. Yes, ashes. But that's it. What's the point of these ashes? So I'm going to tell you. So the point of doing all this, because we're going to, this is 40 days of Lent. The whole point is that we have a deeper conversion, which means our hearts are more like Christ. And that we can love better, we're more compassionate, we're more kinder to each other. So we spend the next 40 days saying, I'm going to work on that. That's called conversion. And what I really like about St. Ignatius is that, um, I don't know if you guys were told this or not yet, but everybody at St. Ignatius is going to take a test, and it's a test on compassion. So it's actually called empathy, but everybody's going to take a test on compassion. You'll take the test, and you'll take it at the beginning of Lent, and then at the end of the year, you're going to take the test again to see if you become even more compassionate. And I have to say, like, I want to take that test because at the end of Lent, I want to be better at loving. I want to be better at compassion. And the world and even St. Ignatius, we could all use people that have more compassion in their heart. So we're going to test that out. And so during Lent, we do three things. Every Catholic in the world, so that's billions of us, we always do three things in Lent. So one is, um, well, we fast. So like today, you're only supposed to like eat no meat or you can eat fish. Uh, or during Lent, you're not supposed to have dessert. And the whole reason behind the fasting is that A, it's a type of prayer, but also B, um, like I've seen really poor people in the world where they don't get to eat as much as we do. They go hungry a lot. And so, you know, if the poor, if they don't get dessert, well, then we don't either. For really one-tenth of the year, we just say, we're not going to eat any desserts. Or on Fridays, we eat fish or no meat at all because they don't get to. And the goal there, it's a very, very ancient practice. The goal is that we become more compassionate. That's why Jesus in the gospel, he wants us to occasionally fast. And this is when we do it. The second thing we do is called almsgiving. That's a big word, but think about this. At St. Ignatius, we always have that faith in action. Is it called justness in action or faith in action? Okay. I love going over and seeing the different projects that you guys have done. That's almsgiving, where you care for the poor and the broken in the world. Every year, St. Ignatius, you guys think of amazing things to do. So, Jesus said to do that, we're going to do that because it makes us more compassionate. And the third thing we do is actually what's called penance. So, penance is that we want to change part of our behavior. So, penance is that we want to make sure our hearts are better. So, we're going to, like, this sounds strange, but your heart, my heart, we have weeds inside our heart, right? There's some weeds, like... One of my weeds used to be angry, anger. Now I'm really not that much of an angry person. I pretty much pulled out a lot of those weeds. But now I have a really big weed in my heart, and that's called anxiety. It's worry. Like, I worry about things, and when I really start to worry about things, you know the problem with that is that is I, I really start to worry, and you come up to me, I'll suddenly be defensive and a little grumpy. So that's not compassionate. So this Lent, the penance I'm going to do is I'm going to say, yeah, I I need to pull that weed. I need to get rid of some anxiety. So if I can pull that weed, then, you know, something better can grow in its place. More love. Because what you do at your heart, you want to get rid of all the weeds. So if you get rid of the weeds, you have more room for love. So Lent, we're getting rid of things. Easter... We're actually asking God to replace it with love and compassion. So, this sounds strange. You should think of one thing that you can sacrifice. Give up this Lent. Something like mine would be worry. Or one year, um, actually it was last year, I was talking to a a little girl at St. Ignatius. And so I asked her, I said, well, 
What, what is one thing that you can give up to make people's lives better? And you know what she said? And this kind of surprised me. She says, I'm going to give up screaming. I was like, wow, what does your family have to live with? Um, she's going to give up screaming. So I said, do you really scream a lot? She says, yes. <laughs> you know, if she gave up screaming, just think how much happier her family life would be without one person screaming around. So I thought, good for her. So when you get the ashes, this sounds kind of strange, the ashes symbolize death, that one thing is going to die. What I hope dies is um, my worry. The girl last, little girl last year, I hope what dies is that she's not screaming at her family anymore. So you have to pick one thing. What is one weed that you can work on to get rid of? Because if you get rid of it, it just means you're, you'll be more compassionate. And during Lent, what we want to do is we want our hearts, we want them to change. So like the first reading, you did a great job on the readings, by the way, very good. It says, rend your hearts, not your garments. What does that mean? Now, your garments are your clothing. Rend is to change or to rip. But um, uh, what he's saying is change your hearts not your outside appearances. That's more important. So during Lent, yeah, we try and change our hearts. And today, you're gonna put, we're going to put ashes on your forehead, and we pray that just one thing, do one penance, one change, one thing in your heart. Get rid of screaming, get rid of anger, just choose one thing. And then hopefully by the end of Lent, if you took that compassion test again, you'll even be more compassionate and loving. As I said, the world can use a lot more compassion. And so please stand, and we're going to bless the ashes. So at this point, um, I'd like those who are going to distribute the ashes to please come forward.